Thank you, Shocks. Right off the tail end of that, Sheepy, I'm coming to you with that jungle matchup tomorrow. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I like his confidence, and I think he hit the major points there that Bengi has this limited champion pool, which he plays actually pretty well. The Rek'Sai and the Nunu. Never seen such a disgusting Nunu before. I hope that actually EDG realizes this as a team, that this is a weak spot they can hit, because I think that Kilov showed that he is a jungler that is really aggressive, and if you don't shut him down or don't match the pressure, he's going to be a pain in mm -hmm. the butt. You know who else has a really good <laughs> Nunu? Clearlove has a really good Nunu. Just saying, their Nunu-Jinx combo, pretty devastating. All right, but I do want to go back to this idea of the EDG threats because I do think that that could be a pretty large deciding factor tomorrow when we look at Koro in the top lane coming up big on Hecarim and Aurelia. You look at Pawn stepping up with that Cassidy, and you look at Deft just applying pressure straight up the, across all three games here. Yeah, that's something that SKT failed to keep up with with the Fnatic today and showed a really bad showing. And clear love, that's the thing, is Bengi, you know, he can be like, all right, let's go, I can really go middle, I can really go bottom. Clear love can go to any damn lane and even get kills for himself and then start carrying the game from there. So I feel like EDG have more options when the game just is on the jungler's shoulders. So that's going to be a big thing, is Bengi keeping track of Clear Love. And I think Bengi, if he get, does get the Nunu, I think it's going to be a great pick for them, because if he keeps Clear Love down, he stops the early pressure. And I'm personally looking forward to the bot lane battle of the Giants, Deft against Bang. I'm just so hyped for this one, because both are those Callistas. I hope this, either way, both get Callista, or one of them goes Callista, and just shows how strong he is. And... I think that either way, bot lane it will be decided or top lane it will be decided. I'm actually really excited about bot lane for a different reason. I think Mako is like the unsung hero of this team and he got Thresh so many times and I do not know how his Thresh is so good. So I actually think that him versus Bang is going to be a tough matchup for Bang. Well, the unsung hero of EDG maybe, but there was one player that pulled away from the pack in that series and that man was Koro. He played incredibly well the entire set and his Aurelia performance in game three was instrumental in locking up EDG's place in the finals. Not too shabby for the birthday boy, I'd say. Ooh. Oh, I think he played a really needy really there and went for the kills. And actually, I think that fits kind of EDG style. And yeah, I'd like to see him more on those kill aggressive top laners. And he plays it all the time against Nar. So now you really have to question the Nar pickup because it's so strong. I like how he's not somebody that needs clear left to help him snowball. He can find these opportunities by himself, whether it's TPing on a three man gank bottom lane instead of a four man or just getting a 1v1 advantage in the lane. So Marin really struggled with that earlier today. So I think that if SKT brings the game that they brought today versus what EDG did today, it's not going to be very close. Yep. Powerful top laners that open up the map and use TP to their advantage seem to be a weak spot for SKT. That's going to be a thing. And we saw those 1v5 Hecarim, <laughs> Hecarim <laughs> fights too, which were extraordinarily impressive. Now we know who will face off in the finals tomorrow, so let's pull up the bracket to see how it's filled out. SKT were taken to five games by Fnatic, but managed to pull out the win to lock in their finals berth. They will take on Edward Gaming, who swept through their semifinal series against AHQ Esports Club. So gentlemen, again, we looked at tomorrow's matchup specifically. How do we see that playing out? I think this is absolutely huge. I think that it'll be actually closer than people think. I think SKT play extremely well against the likes of EDG. I think it's going to be a very long series. I agree. I think it's going to be a very close match. I don't think it's going to shake off uh, SKT, what they did today. They recognized what went wrong, and they adapted very quickly in the fifth game. I thought that wasn't going to happen, but they proved me wrong, and I think they're going to prove me wrong again tomorrow versus EDG. And I think withering through the storm, both teams that we expected in the end are in the finals, and I think... This is the matchup that I look forward the most. It's this kind of aggressive chaos TP tower dive style from EDG with this, the control style from uh, SKT. And I really look out who is coming out ahead. Yeah, jungle pool is the thing in question here. What's Bengi got besides those two champions? Because we saw from Clearlove today, he could whip out a Nautilus on the spot. So. <laughs> well, sure to be an extraordinary series tomorrow, but before tomorrow's finals, the day will kick off with a battle for the ages. A motley crew of casters will square off against a lineup of pros in an exhibition match that you won't want to miss. Playing for the casters, it will be Messiah and Xiao, Wei, uh, and Xiao Xiao from the LPL, our very own Freak and Kobe, and the LCK's Cloud Templar. Making up the pro team is Besiktas's uh, Thaldrin and Energy, Fanatics, Vibivin, and Huni, and rounding out the lineup is TSM's Wild Turtle. We will be bringing 
bringing you every minute of the action from the campus of Florida State University starting tomorrow at 2 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, 11 p.m. Central European Summertime. That does it for us here today. So now for myself, the casters, and the entire live broadcast crew, thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.